factor uh, with vital statistics. Uh, has this, uh, in light of the, the, dis, the so much great dishonor uh, currently, uh, is there any success being reported with, with using this? The short answer is not yet. Okay. All right. Um, now, I, I don't want anyone to, I mean, they have put all of you under enormous suffering and me, and I don't, I don't want anyone to be doing a process which we know is um, wholly not effective, but in principle, the registrar should do their job. In practice, the, the short answer is not yet. Uh, now, we, we do have evidence now, very strong evidence, that a direct contact to the pontiff as the keeper of the slave roles. Incredible to think that the pontiff is the master of the slave roles, but that's exactly what the role is. That a direct appeal at that level forces them to release you or, the, or place the entire system in dishonor. Yeah? But the only reason that we are suggesting to, and this is why I'm saying it to people, because if I'm saying to you, you're now aware of this, the only reason we're asking people to go through the process is that we then have a perfected process to perfect the dishonour, to, to make it clear that either they honour um, at the highest level um, and clean up the mess or the system is broken. So by the time you go through the process of the EDPs and you're still in dishonour, we have a tool called a Great Writ and it's at the, that stage that a Great Writ would then be sent to Rome in your case, as proof, as with others, that you have evoked your right and the officers of the system have not performed their duty. And in that process, there would be, I would presume, some cleaning out of these people, which is what we want to see. We, the quickest way to wake up the FBI, the CIA, the marshals, is for them to see in their own ranks a cleaning out coming from the highest level after they've ignored what we've done. You agree? Uh, got it. Sure. Uh, right. And I'm certainly going so, to participate in in that process. You know, yeah. that, that's totally. That seems like being like responsibility and competency. Um, <laughs> in regards to the process, I have a certified birth certificate that's one of those small billfolds, uh, two two inches by four inch size. Uh, it yeah. is. It is the official certified, though. Can I use that on the back of the depot? Yep, just make a photocopy, color photocopy, put it on the back. Okay, so so, so photocopy uh, rather than the original. Yep. And, and yep. then glue that whole, so you glue in the same size page. Yep. Got yep. it, okay. Uh, and uh, th that would be sent to, ad addressed to the Registrar of Vital Statistics at the, the street address? Correct. Now, if, 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 in registered mail, it requires you to give a name. You can give the name in the registration of the posting process, mm -hmm. but on the deep poll itself, it should just be the official um, position, not the name. Otherwise, you can't do agent to principal. Yeah, I, I got it. All right. Um, now, it, I'm involved in an IRS uh, indictment pending trial. Should I yeah. also, in addition, send the EDP to the court as well, best to or best not to? I think, in, in, given that it's pending, uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt because the, the the point that you'll be raising when you finally get to court is you'll be challenging their title straight up. Okay, got it. And, and the deep the deep pile wouldn't hurt you because your life born record will be your um, certificate of title. Yeah. Yep. So it would it, basically. I, I'm drawing from what you say. It would be probably in, to my advantage to go ahead and send both. Yes. Okay. Uh, when in court, do you ever uh, enter the bar or always remain outside except under duress? Under duress, if they force you in there. But um, okay, re re remember that that, and this people forget this. <clears throat> You, when you enter the bar, you're, you're, you're entering into completely private space. So they're um, private officials, it's a private um, court, and their own private rules. Got it. So they can pretty much make up whatever they like as they go along, and they do. Mm -hmm. They are taught 
they are taught that when you enter the bar, that the game starts. So for them, it's significant. In reality, it, it, people don't shouldn't get hung up about it. Yeah. Got it. Okay. But you would you would uh, you would stay outside the bar unless forced in. Absolutely. But I, I would begin the jurisdictional issue first, only because the judges, the prosecutors, and the clerks are all mind imaged in their limited knowledge of the law. Remember, we're dealing with idiots of the law. Mm-hmm. Are all, all all trained that once you're inside the bar, that you're in their jurisdiction and you've contracted. That's their belief. Of course, mm-hmm. it's rubbish. But that's their belief. Got it. Uh, uh, all right. A uh, couple other quick questions here. Since since blood is somewhat thick, do you ever use a, a little purified water to thin it a little where you're storing it? Um, uh, if, if you've got blood in a vial, I mean, I can't really answer that. I mean, I, I okay, I haven't I haven't done that for for uh, well, I haven't really done it myself. I mean, um, um, I can't really answer that and how to preserve it. But if you put the question up there on the forum, I'm sure someone could give you an answer. Got it. Got it. And any particular type of clear tape or just any substantial clear tape to cover the thumbprint? Any substantial clear tape is fine. And I assume you do remove the word thumbprint. You, you, that's Always, yes. Absolutely, yes. yes. Okay. Um, one, one other uh, last question. Has there been any report at all from the man in Arizona who had the plea bargain issue who was on the call last week and – and face the sentencing, he said he would let us know. Is there been any report on that? I haven't heard um, from that, um, but we'll uh, pursue it up. We yeah, haven't heard anything from that, have we, Terry? No, we haven't. Okay, haven't so we'll we'll, we'll we'll put put that call out for anyone that may or may not know about um, the the fellow on that. But yeah, we'll, we'll find out. Okay. okay, thank you very much. I appreciate your, your answers very much. No, that's right. Good on you. Good night. Thank you. You bet. Okay, uh, to a uh, question here on the um, chat group. Oh, wait, I've got another caller here I'd like to get to, Frank, real quick. Um, okay. All right, next one that I unmuted, you are next in the queue. Francis? Yes, hi. Hi. Uh, Hi, I have a couple questions. Um, I want to do the uh, deed poll for my husband on his birth certificate, but he was born in East Prussia, which no longer exists. It's now part of Northeast Poland. And he is slightly under 70 years old, so what would you suggest? Well, the um, the, the, the sister can be will be uh, in effect until he turns 70. Um, where they will dissolve. Where he was naturalized or where? Well, if, he, if he's been naturalized, then they'll have created another set of Sister KV trusts. Right, I understand. So let's say he was naturalized, and that's what they mean by naturalized, <laughs> uh, getting you onto their role. So... Uh, let's say he's naturalized into the United States, then the state that he was naturalized in will be the state that you should be directing your attention to. Yeah? Okay. And not at all to the present state, just to the birth state? Well, when you're naturalized, you're, you're basically born again in their system. Your right. rebirth. Right. So... I would I would be writing to that state. So where, where was where was he naturalized? Wisconsin. Okay, so I'd be writing to Wisconsin. Okay, and has there been discussion or thought about uh, since they assumedly started the CKVV at the uh, in the probate court at that seven years? Should we be notifying the probate court also? Um. We we had discussed probate before, but there is a limit to that process as well. So we haven't looked at, at how to... It's a good question, and we need to come back and, and view that. So in light of, for example, a point was raised tonight about um, uh, withdrawal of consent or withdrawal of signature, I, I take on notice that we need to come back and give some good answers on 
on whether there's more that can be done on probate. So, yeah, that's a good point. Because what, what if you withdrew your signature on a naturalization? Would you face deportation? Um, in, good question. I mean, in theory, I would say, um, in theory, they, if they wanted to play hardball, they could argue that, yes. Um, but if, if you didn't go down the process of, of uh, withdrawal of consent or withdrawal of signature and you merely were perfecting your claim of right, your claim of divine right, then they couldn't argue that uh, that angle. Okay. Right. But there, you've just raised some very good questions and you've also raised um, that we need to view these tools judiciously and we need to make sure that our Q&A on this is thought through so that we, we don't inadvertently, if you like, encourage someone that's been naturalised to do this and, of course, run the risk of... Um, having them say to you, well, well, we'll deport you, yeah? Would you uh, be including the uh, East Prussian birth certificate in any submission to vital statistics or the Pope or just the naturalization? And how do you, on the, on the naturalization document, there is a strange wording that it says, uh, um, do not copy or do other illegal activities to this document, something like that. Yeah, that's the same words on a, on a, on a, a proper extant birth certificate. So it's the same, it is a birth certificate, yeah? So yeah. They put, that on, they put that on all birth certificates, yeah? No, it's, uh, the standard birth certificates that I've seen just says do not copy. But it was interesting on the naturalization, at least back when he got his, that... It said, do not copy your other illegal activities. Um, just an interesting wording. Yeah, well, see, again, because the nature of the naturalisation certificate being a birth certificate yeah. of a new set of CQVs, um, it may have been at the time that they chose to add those words in, but it, it is of the same ilk, and it gives you a sign of what it is. Yeah? Uh, and one more question, if you don't mind. Yeah. Last week or the week before, you were talking to a gentleman who said, what if I was not born in the United States? And you said to notify both the, his birth country and his naturalization state. Is that still the thought? Well, it, it's, the, the question, I guess, was um, at the time, it was answered by the end by the fact that he was over the age of 70. So in the end, I, I, if I recall, in the end of that conversation, it was that it was just to the naturalisation state. But at the start of the call, I didn't ask him how old he was. And mm -hmm. so there was some uncertainty as to where it should go. But I think at the end of that call, if I can re remember, and I, I will stand corrected if I'm wrong, but was that he just write to the naturalisation state. So um, my husband turned 70 in October. I really don't want to wait that long. Well, no, no, you can do it now because the naturalisation process creates, as you've shown by the naturalisation documents, has created the new CQVs. So it, it, you're right to go in your situation. You're right to go now. Yeah? Um, how do I get... Um Natural, naturalization documents charge you $400 per copy. You don't have a copy anymore? Uh, we only have the original. Well, okay. Um, the, the point of the... Okay, so it says there don't make copies and all that, like the wear of the dog, all that type of stuff. You, you, are, you are sending an extract of a valuable document back to Vital Statistics as the carrier of your message, and that is its only purpose, whether it be a copy, whether it be a passport size or a card size is immaterial. So I would suggest to you in the, in the nature of uh, saving money, in the nature of, of expediency, that even though it has its warning sign on it, the fact that you are sending them a notice by returning it symbolically to them to challenge, um, I would uh, 
I would just simply make a copy of the original and send it to the biostatistics as the front 